through this. Any other reason is because so if set is about the chin, we're going to do 14 millimeters max horizontal, 7 millimeters vertical, which means it's really like the threshold, the maximum thing. If need be, you give me consent for bone grafting. I will try not to do it, but if I cannot manage without bone grafting, I will harvest the bone grafting. And we also set the slight increase in cost that might happen in case I harvest the bone graft. And all that will be documented. We'll take you, show you videos, photos, everything. Okay, that's first thing. And then I did not mention maybe, but I it is I mean I use plates and screws. So these are going to be very good quality titanium German quality. So it's not going to cause any problem. Some of the patients uh, want to get it removed. They say we don't want to have a foreign body. In that case, we can take it out after six months, not before. Okay. That's just something. Okay. Now, with that, so with the chin, some of the things which you said and I have not agreed is the work here. So, because we said we're not going to go to the angle. Not we, the angle, but just the line. No, I have to go there otherwise. I'm going to restrict my work till short of your masseter muscle. So, the masseter muscle, just wet karo, ya pe feel karo. Because it will go under the mesita. No, but I just want to have a clear defined jaw length till the end. So all the way meaning I have to operate there. So now we discussed and we decided no, no, not, not this angle. But it, even this angle. No, no, not this one. The jaw length, clear jaw length till the end. So the end part, this much part, the last one inch I won't be doing. So that will be an extra procedure. Because it comes under the muscle. Anterior to that, we'll be able to do it. So there will be a better definition for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, the whole thing gets stretched. Mm -hmm. So the definition will come. Two, we have also said we're going to take off your buckle pad fat. Mm -hmm. So buckle pad fat removal accentuates the lower jawline, mm -hmm. accentuates or augments the cheek bone. Mm -hmm. So that for some improvement will be there. But why I'm explaining that I'm not going to work and do on that part under the muscle is because that's another procedure. Mm -hmm which we said we were not going to do. So I'm just going through that, okay? So that's with your job. Now with the nose, so it's going to be a septo rhinoplasty. Mm -hmm. There is a septum issue. There's a spur, there's a severe deviation in the bony part, much inside, which I'm going to take care. Mm -hmm. Plus, you are having less septal support. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give a little bit more septal support. That's the work with the septum. Then we're going to do rhinoplasty. So rhinoplasty is basically to shape your nose, like the photos that we discussed. We're going to work on the radix, the tip, the dorsum, the entire nose. This also, like this. That's the radix. Okay. Starts so we'll have the tip. So we get two prominent lines here, right? So we have one. That will go down. That your, your base is very broad and flaring. Yeah. So we'll correct that. Also, also so will we we'll create a defined line? People, because right now it's. Um, it's pretty wavy and not that defined, it's like a smooth thing, so we'll have it a little bit more defined. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's kind of uh, what all we've discussed. Also, the, so the base which would be flat or it can have a curve like I have right now? Which one, the chin? The base of the chin. Yeah. So, it, it should not be so much of a curve because that's not going to look very uh, no, manly. Yeah. So, so we're going to make it a little bit more less curvy. Yes, I'm be like it, a, a flat base. Is it possible? Flat base. Flat it will be base. flatter only. Yeah, yeah. As much as possible, it will be flat. Okay. But remember, the chin is uh, concave like this. Mm -hmm. So I'll make it as flat from the front, and then that's when you get a broad chin. Okay. So, so, so we're gonna do a little bit of a broad chin. Flat, it will look basically like that. Like that. Pakka. Oh, that's 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 what is like a chin. Little bit chin. Okay. So another thing. Uh, so first up, we're going to be giving you anesthesia. We're not going to be giving you anesthesia from here. Uh, so we're going to give you anesthesia from the nose. Then we're going to give you anesthesia from the mouth. You won't know anything. But when you wake up, your nose will be blocked. And there might be some pain around the jaws and everything. Obviously, okay. something throat. So you're going to breathe through the mouth. And uh, initially, a little difficult for the first a few minutes or something after anesthesia. Hmm. Thereafter, you'll feel very comfortable. Once the anesthesia goes off and your medicines kick in, uh, you should be fine. And today, you're pretty much going to be on liquid diet after a few hours after surgery. Hmm. Tomorrow, we will have a review and take it further. Okay, so, by what time are you starting the surgery? So, it's about 2.45, not before uh, 4 hours. 
not be for four hours. I think it will be a little bit longer than that. So I'll break up my English language. Yeah, if it's four and a half hours, so you add four and a half hours to three, so seven thirty, depending. I mean, just add. Good. Okay. But no problem. You, when you wake up, we'll all be there, so don't worry. So we're going to be doing genioplasty and jaw sculpting to give him a stronger chin to get rid of that double chin that he has to also define his lower jawline and augment his facial aesthetics by working on the lower third of the face. In the projection of the chin now, both in the horizontal and the vertical dimension, so we've done genioplasty 14 millimeters in the horizontal and 7 millimeters in the vertical jaw sculpting also contoured the chin to give him a broad straight chin which he desired so it was a three dimensional chin augmentation and contouring so we're going to show you how he looked before we started in a second yeah so there you see that's how he was that's the kind of double chin you can see that he had taking care of all of that let me show you some more view Rhinoplasty for this patient. Okay, we can't you can see that nose, so you can see how wide it was. The support on the tip was very minimal, so we've given a lot of tip, separate tip support. Work on the ALR base, augmentation a bit at the radix, narrowing down here totally, and also shaping up the ALR base eventually. So it was an open structure rhinoplasty. Various grafts were used, from auto spreader grafts to marginal rim grafts to baton. I'm also going to show you some other few now. Yeah, you can show that. That's cool. So once again, you can see the improvement. The tip was like a small parrot beak, and the shape of the openings were more horizontal than vertical. There was. Uh, not a very good proportion between the ala and the columella and also the ala and the rest of the nose so we've made this more like a triangular nose now and even though it's a south indian type of a very very thick nasal skin we've molded it to a certain point that it looks nice for his face and it's not going to look like a caucasian nose so it's a racial characteristic so you can do you have another view also yeah, so we're also going to show you this, the side view. And here you can see the tip definition that's improved, the radix that's improved. Yeah, so this is going to go all the way down to here. It's also been narrowed. You can see that bend is gone now. It's one straight long nose. It comes from the forehead. So we actually worked at the place where the nose begins, which we refer to as radix. You can see that. And uh, this angulation has also been altered very minimally. This is over the 90 degrees, now we keep it 90 degrees. 
the columnar and the alar overhang has also been fixed with the osteotomy these are the sutures for that septorhinoplastic and uh, we're going to show you how we looked before that's how he was before you can see the improvement that we've done entire nose from the radix to the tip to the alar base to the dorsum you see that once more yeah the basal view please yes so you can see that basal improvement in this view you can see that the basal view again so you can see the improvement we've done we also want to show you the improvement once again frontal view okay suction Yeah, I think it's healing. It's doing well now. I think it's doing very well. Open. I still can't forget your request, you know. You were like, make me the most handsome guy to walk on this <laughs> planet. And, I mean, it was on a lightest tone which you said. But I was very, very, very... I don't say this to all patients. Huh? I don't think I tell to every patient that your result has come like the best and, and all that, I don't say but for you it was really nice because the chin, you know, little bit of my result also depends on what I have right. sometimes the chin is such that, it, you see, it's got it's already very strong mm -hmm. and it's going to heal up very very nicely I think exactly what you wanted right. a nice strong chin going back here, but there's some swelling here still right. but it's not fluctuant so all of this is just going to die down uh, you'll have to be on antibiotics for some more time mm -hmm. and uh, then that should be it. You slowly peel this off. And then oh, it's almost peeled already. You'll remove and check, is it? No, 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 I haven't removed it. Probably because of the sweating engaged. Secretion yeah, 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 it's being quite. Katria. உங்களுக்கு கண்ணாடி கொண்டு வரியா ஒரு நிமிஷம் நான் அதை பிடிச்சி பண்ணி கொண்டு யூ கேன் ஹாவ் அ லுக் அட் த நோஸ் ஜஸ்ட் லுக் டவுன் லைக் திஸ் யா அண்ட் யூ கேன் கண்ணாடி கூட உங்க இல்லை யூ கேன் சீ திஸ் யா தெர் இஸ் ஸ்வெல்லிங் எவ்ரி வே தெர் இஸ் ஸ்வெல்லிங் அண்ட் தெர் இஸ் அ ஸ்டிச் தேர் தெர் இஸ் ஒன் ஹியர் நோ தெர் இஸ் நான் தேர் There are a few at the base. Mm -hmm. All of this is a uh, level of slough tissue because it's been there for 7-8 days. Mm -hmm. But you can see the improvement, you can see the change, right? Look at the ALR base and then we've narrowed it. I said we're going to give you a little bit narrow one. Tip is pointy but not like European. Right. Yeah, but it's still going to be pointy. Okay. And then the nose, look at this, like this. Straight from the radix. Look here, uh, earlier it wasn't there. Yes. Your nose didn't start that. So right. we've given you a little bit more. You're Punjabi, right? Uh, yeah. So that is very uh, common for Punjabis. No, I had an accident, terrible accident. Uh, yes, you did tell me about the accident, right? My nose almost fell off. Correct. So that's the reason why it's gone down there and we've given that back now to you, to where it belonged. Look at that chin now. We're not looking at the chin right now because we removed the nose. So we already did the chin. Just look, look, look that's it, like that. 
And look at the chin here now. Yeah. It's like one barrel there. <laughs> <It's p> <laughs> barrel of fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, not only really, not really fat. Because we've not removed too much of fat. I've just repositioned the bones and right. got the muscle to attach in the place where it should be. So, yeah. You look at like some defined lines here. Oh, these small lines? Yes. No, no, no. That's because of the fact that it's been under the steri strips. Okay. So they all go away. The small lines, all of them will disappear. You're not going to get any lines on top. Don't worry. It's just going to be smooth skin. Okay. Everywhere. Can take off these sutures also today. And these bruisings also will disappear. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take off the sutures and then uh, you hang around for a couple of more days. And you're good to leave. Okay? Yeah, bye. Any